I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving previous test papers. The question here is from one of our subscribers. Let me thank Mr. Kapil for sharing so many questions on inverse trigonometric ratios. I hope the solution of this will help many others. The question here is if sine of cot inverse x plus 1 equals to cos of tan inverse x, then x is what? So that is the question for you. Let us see how to solve it. Now whenever you have inverse functions, let me copy the question first. We have sine of cot inverse x plus 1 equals to cos of tan inverse x. So it is good practice to form a triangle and then solve. So when we say cos inverse x plus 1, it really means what? So let's make a triangle for this situation. So we have a triangle. When we say cos inverse, then that means the ratio of these two sides is cos inverse, right? Or it's cot inverse, sorry. Uh, I copied it wrong. Cot inverse is cot inverse. So, so if it is cot inverse, then the ratio of base to the opposite side is cot inverse, right? So let's rewrite these sides. They will be x plus 1 and 1. So that becomes the sides of the triangle. So what will be this side? So this side is going to be square of this plus 1, right? So it will be 1 plus x plus 1 whole square, correct? So that is going to be the other side. Now, you can actually calculate this out. So what is this equal to? Let's work it out. 1 plus x square plus 2x plus 1. We are just calculating uh, this particular hypotenuse. So which is, when you open the bracket, you get square root of x square plus 2x plus 2. 1 and 1 combined. So you get your triangle. Let us say that this angle, what we are talking about is y. Now, so basically the expression becomes sine of y. Right? So if this is y, then the left side basically is sine of y. So in this particular triangle, what is sine of y equals to? Well, sine is 1 over all that. So this value is basically 1 over square root of x square plus 2x plus 2. Clear? So we get our left side. Now, let us work on the right side. So let me sketch a triangle for the right side also. We'll do it here. Uh, now, when we say that this angle is tan inverse is x, that means the sides are x and 1. Let's call this angle as z. Right. So, so this hypotenuse will be x squared plus 1. Clear? So what we get here is cos of all this. So cos of z, you can think about sine y equals to cos of z. So that should be equal to what? 1 over square root of x square plus 1. Is that clear to you? So whenever you have inverse functions, this is probably the best and the easiest way to begin with. Now, we have equation in terms of x and that could be solved. So we'll just cross multiply and square. So what we have here is x square plus 1 equals to x square plus 2x plus 2. So we cross multiplied and squared and we got our equation. Okay? You can write like this if you want to. And then we'll square in the next step. Let's take it here. So we get x square plus 1 equals to x square plus 2x plus 2. Now bring all the terms on one side for the variables and the other terms for the constants on the other side. So what we get here is we can take it on that side, 2 on this side. So we get 1 minus 2 equals to x squared plus 2x minus x. So that is minus 1 equals to 2x 
and minus 1 over 2 is equal to x. So we get the value of x as minus half, which is 0 0.5, which is our option C. Is that clear to you? So these questions can be solved if you look into them as we have shown here, right? So inside function basically gives you that triangle and the outside function gives you the value for that particular trigonometric ratio. Then you can equate these values and calculate the answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.